Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into another video. Today I'm here on the Paladins PDS, where we're going to be taking a look into the brand new patch. PDS just opened, it is day 15 of January, so you, you have an idea when this is being recorded, if, in case it's like day 16, 17 for you, and you're going like to PDS and it's like, not open, how did you record this? Well, I recorded it on the day that it opened. That's how I recorded it. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. So yeah, the crystals on the daily login definitely got nerfed. 10, 10 15. <clears throat> so 25 versus four, you got uh, half less than the usual. All right, uh, Trials of the Realm are back. Great. And immediately I'm already triggered. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. So, I, I love the entire, you have like one place to check all missions, but first of all, that one is already faded away and you can't even scroll, that's weird, but it's the Trials of the Realm. They took away the quest tab to essentially join them all together, but like people don't even know that it's here anymore. Like they, they'll go to Trials, they'll think this is all Trials. No, this is not Trials, this is a combination, I think. No, these are this is just daily quests. They're all in the same place. Okay, I get, I get. To be perfectly honest, I think that the trials shouldn't be here. I think the trials should be almost like it used to be with the old battle pass, where you would have a second tab on the battle pass. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Okay, so loading frame is inside. Okay, now they're showing it here, but I can't even purchase those chests. That's, I guess, that's interesting. As for the event pass, they shifted everything how it worked. In a way, I kind of like it. At the same time, I kind of don't like it. Um, because one of the things they were talking about, for example, this one here. This is a, a skin chest. If you don't know what they did, they essentially changed it. So you don't know what you're gonna get it's gonna be complete rng right so we're it, it's fine though like you're still gonna get your stuff like everything inside of this chest you got enough rolls to get everything and there's enough chests to get every single one of those rewards right it, that's fine what i don't think it's fine is that the instead of them making the battle pass easier it is still the same thing but only the first few levels are easier to do so imagine this you open one of the chests right you go at the start and you open this chest straight away and you get this like in less than two three days super easy to get level 12 whatever sure you open this and it gets you the best skin ever and you're like well i don't give a shit about the other skins but guess what if you want to have them those are going to be now harder to collect because the levels are going to be harder and harder as it goes now technically speaking it is still the exact same time as the last battle pass which just leads me to think why because i don't get it i legit don't get it there's literally there's literally if it takes the exact same time there's literally no point in changing the way it goes is it just to, like when you're starting the battle pass you feel more rewarded is that what's it i, I i'm not sure all right, but either way, we're going to go here. I'm going to actually do something on purpose here. I'm going to purchase the battle pass. And apparently we get a skin a skin chest straight away. Let, let's actually let's actually open it. You know, let's see. Um, that is not what I wanted to click. And let's actually open it. It should be around here somewhere, I guess. There it is. <coughs> and it's fucked. Oh, well. Whoa, holy shit. What the actual fuck is that? What the hell is even that? Oh, God. What the fuck? It doesn't even have a. It doesn't even have a weapon. It's like its face is all over the fucking place, man. Like, oh, I can't even open that. I I can't even show you it. Like, that's one of the Grover skins, but I can't open it. <laughs> oh, I guess we're gonna have to wait to live servers to do that, or I gotta have to use skin boosters or something. I don't fucking know. At least before I could instantly just unlock it. Wait, what if I can just unlock it directly by going to the skins? Wait. Well, that's it weird. Yeah, well, they're not here. So... 
Oh, there's nothing locked. I, there's nothing here. So how would I even... I, I probably can't even use a skin booster to use this. They forgot to eat, to add an element for those skins? <laughs> well, that's weird. Well, but it, re, independently. So n I'm going to go to the event pass, see how hard it is, this, this curve. It says right there, down there, you can see it. 991,845. We're going to go ahead and lock the next level. I don't even fucking know what these are. <laughs> Can, can I? I... Holy shit, the battle pass is all fucked up. <gasps> I can't even do this, dude. Oh, God. I can't click it. I'm sorry, folks. I can't show you anything. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Now I'm sad that I didn't just purchase the entire thing all the way till the end. You know what? I might actually jump into my wife's account just real quick. To sh it, it, I mean, it doesn't matter. All these chests are fucked. Okay, okay, th th this is... It's weird, It's we're just repeating the exact same thing. Then what's the purpose of this page? Listen, okay, alright, no, now I'm actually confused. Okay, so this should still remain as the quests, like it used to be. Just a little pop-up in the top of the menu, that's it, right? Only this, just like we have it in live servers, and the trials should go into a second tab inside of the battle pass. And then you can have the activities, which just has everything there, literally. At least I think that's that's the best way to go about it. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. All right, but hold up. I, I, I'm, I'm super confused. Whew. All right, um, let's go through the trials. I wanna check the last one. This, these might just be placeholders of rewards. I'm not 100% sure. I think this is the one where you need to complete all the others in order to, I already have this all completed apparently. Limited title, treasure chest 25. Or maybe this is the one where if you complete all the other ones, you get this one. I'm, I'm, I'm what's that treasure chest? Oh, okay. So what's that treasure chest? You guys on, on video might be might asking, what is this? Well, this chest, it is a chest which will have supposedly exclusive skins specifically only for the trials. So we might be seeing some recolors to skins that already exist or brand new skins. You know how they did a specific skin for seven that was only in the trials? It could be something like that. We could be looking potentially into something like that. Um, but yeah, well, we've seen the tri we've seen the trials. You've seen the activities. You've seen this. All right. Uh, I. I. This. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shit on anything. I'm just extremely confused with what's going on. Um, I can't even see what's inside of the avatar's chest or anything of the sort because I guess I could see it here. Not everything. Just a couple. Oh well, that's unfortunate. Let's see if there's any skins inside of the diamond chest. That's not the diamond chest. This is the diamond chest. Apparently, there's skins here. I might be already owner of some of these, or not. Apparently, it's just giving me crystals, it's not letting me buy anything. Forget it. That's also fucked up. Great. This one's also been bugged since God knows how long. Uh, I cannot still open my 40 fucking community chests. I some reason I have this. I have that skin. I do not get it. Okay, again, sure. Defenseful skins that I cannot open. Uh, the abyss destruction chest that I cannot open. The gold chest doesn't have anything, and the flare chest doesn't have anything. And if you go over here, this is still here, even though I do have a token and I cannot use it because I'm just never going to be able to purchase anything. Okay, so I guess this is the best way to see it. So here's some of the avatars. Let's go into here. Let's go into. So this is one of the the avatars which is the animated drogo's greedy avatar i guess apex predator fun little thing this is literally the the avatar of dko's currency he made it they made it an avatar and it's going to be on that chest inside of the trials that you guys were asking so much here's another one which is i believe the skin for 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 what sorry what's his name omen uh and then uh, this one will be inside of these two this is Okay. Is there anything new? So we got here something. We're so buck. Shiny Hunter. Those are new. Um, 
Okay, so here's the new frame that will be inside of a chest. So this is going to be the same chest as the loading screens, I believe. So you can get this immediately on your first roll or just not in the first few rolls and you'll get it in the last roll possible. Um, the rank frames are not here, unfortunately, yet. Um, got that. So here are some of the sprays. You got this spray, which will be... Wait, this will be in the trials. This is animated. Yeah, this is also going to be on the trials. I actually like this one. Pretty cool. And this one is inside of the event pass. Uh, nothing for death markers. Uh, we do have a death card. Okay, with the Grover skin. Cool. As for loading screens, I... Is there supposed to be? Okay, we got stellar skins on the loading screens now. God damn. All right. Oh, we even have this. <whistles> Very nice. I mean, I still don't give a shit about this, but it's <laughs> pretty good. All right. I got another stellar skin. We got the Sky Street style skin lo uh, loading screen. All right. I guess that's something. I mean, doesn't really matter much, but, you know, biz uh, bizarre. Bizarre. Hold the point eliminating enemies on bizarre. Okay, I guess. Let's check the customs real quick and see if there's actually anything new. Any new maps? Not at the moment. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, onslaught. King of the Hill. Payload. Um, siege. Pfft, nothing changed, I think. Spectators. I can turn it off and on. Was this here? Oh, shit. That's new. I can turn off crossplay and on. On and off. Why? I'm confused. What? It's a custom. Like, is it? Is it to prevent players from console to join my lobby if I create an NPC? I don't know. Unless this is to fix the bug where if I have my crossplay off and I create a custom, people who have crossplay on can't see it. Unless it's for that, I don't really know why that's for. But I guess that's cool. Okay, I think nothing changed here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything changed. Uh, disability to healing, yeah, that doesn't... Except for this reset set button is weird. I think that's new, but it... pretty weird. All right, let's get into shooting range and find out what Bean got so upset about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hold up. I need to pull up the patch notes. You want to balance changes, Kasumi. I forgot there's now nine loadouts. Uh, that's that's okay, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, there's a new fucking line there, and it's triggering my... Uh, is it OCD? I guess. I don't fucking know. Oh, shit, dude. Oh. I, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get used to it. I swear. I'll, I'll, I'll get used to it, please. Um... <clears throat> So, what did you change? No longer grants cursed enemies a reveal on Kasumi. I can't test that. What the fuck? Why did he change the symbol? They made the ultimate hexagon with a arrow. <laughs> Alright, I guess. Anything else changed that we're not aware in patch notes? This is, this, you know, this, this is not like a small little detail, but it would be pretty awesome to be in the patch notes, just saying. Increased size of pain indicators when hit by a yokai doll. Well, that's not for me to test out either way. Uh, soul siphon, increased body and soul duration, and forget it. I'm, I'm not testing Kasumi. It literally is not that important. Let's move on to the next one. The next one should be... Pawn. Let's test out his ultimate. Change champion. We'll take a look into the items after, okay? So if you want to see that, skip ahead. Holy shit, man. <laughs> if I didn't had all these loadouts for Khan, I deleted everything. Oh, these are my old loadouts. Okay. So now it's a cone. So if I do this. Let's see how far I can take it. Okay. At least that. All right, it's a cylinder, but it's a tiny cylinder. Only when it goes like orange like that. Even then, holy shit. Wait, am I that far? Who 
Holy shit, the ultimate got nerfed so hard! Uh, not, maybe not too hard. Okay, maybe it's just like a lot of distance there, I don't know. Eu já gravei isso. Esquece, está tudo fodido, por isso eu vou fazer tudo junto num só vídeo que é melhor. <laughs> For those who don't understand what I'm saying, I'm telling people that I'm going to be recording all in one video because the trials and the battle pass is all fucked up, so might as well just check everything and do one single video. Great, huh? All right. As for him, yeah, they nerfed 10, 10 range on his ultimate. Eh. This correlates to his weapon's effective range, I guess. I guess, I guess. Okay, so. Koga. Oh, shit, I want to see that. Okay, yeah, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Koga, 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 Koga. Now I have extra speed on that. <laughs> the fucking claws pierce. Oh shit. That's so good. Oh my gosh. Go here to Leon, I think it's the next one. Yeah. Let's change to Leon. What? So, okay, we know that it changed her effective range to uh, extra 35 units, and now she does 50 more damage, and she has 150 more HP. So what I want to do is I actually want to test out uh, Precision, and I want to see how much damage does it do. Okay. Fuck. We need a tank, because these guys are just going to be fucking dying all the time. Six hundred and eight will be your max. But every time you shoot a new target, it loses the stacks. Still think that's fucking weird, honestly. I don't know, and I also think that the fact that the precision doesn't work in shields is still pretty weird to me. It would be fucking fantastic. She'd be a shield demolisher. Literally one of her counters. So, like, you know, I'd be I'd be fucking amazed if they did that, but maybe that's too much, I don't know. As for more, more, more from Mr. Omen, first of all, I I'm gonna be honest. Where's more, more, more? It's over there. Okay, I haven't even tested out the change they did to this talent. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm talking about. <coughs> it, the Apothic Reaver is no longer ramps down, but its spread is reduced by 50% and its fire rate is reduced by 30%. So, it no longer does like that pinpoint accurate thing. They essentially murder it. <coughs> As for more, 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 we're gonna edit this loadout here so you can see what it happens. But more, more, more now only, the more points you put in there, it essentially just, like, lowers the amount of ammo you lose. That's it. So now let's see how much damage you can actually do with this. You can do up to 900 if you get a headshot, close range. But obviously, being in pallet mode, you're gonna be... You're not gonna be doing as much as damage as he was doing. To be honest, I, in a way, I kind of like the change because he was doing a lot of damage, but at the same time, I don't like what the, them killing the entire Talon. Oh, well. And if we go here into Rom, I cannot test this one, but Rom apparently is now gaining soul armor. When, when you gain soul armor, it is completely unaffected by anti-heal, meaning that it's going to be a lot harder to kill Rom. He's actually going to be able to be a point tank now, if you think about it. Um, but once again, we're actually ignoring anti-heal. I'm still thinking, you know, them making anti-heal a passive probably is an issue, but hey, I don't know. Seven. So seven, they change some numbers when it comes to damage. Oh, dude, I, I don't think I'm even going to bother much here because the values are all just like slight little changes. Just so you have an idea, 
Burst mode does 25 more damage now. The automatic mode, it does 10 more damage. The automatic mode range is smaller now by essentially 25 units. Uh, the automatic mode effective range max damage penalty has increased. So you start losing more damage after the 70% of those 70 units. The mag dump effective range has increased by 15 units. Um, the card terror got nerfed, but at the same time got sort of buffed. So the initial pull is now 5%. So it, like if just having it as a filler it has like more percentage. Um, but they, they reduce the amount of percentage you get per level. So the terror card is the one that makes you go further away when you use the hook. Uh, the knight, the one that, you know, using it to reduce the cooldown of the hook. Like, I don't know which one it is, but it, it, I guess I could just go and check it. So, the knight would be this one. So, the card essentially now does 0 0.4 a second, meaning that you can go all the way to 2 seconds. 0 0.4 seconds per level, sorry, that's what I meant to say. Before it was 0 0.25 making a total of 1.25 seconds at five points so it, it, it increased almost almost half like it doubled almost that's all right i guess overcharge the talent um they removed the damage which talent is that sorry the over overcharge your grappling hook to now pull non-frontline champions to seven so they removed the 100 damage penalty they remove the one charge reduced reduction penalty and they remove the two second buff penalty so now you still okay so uh so th this is just essentially old hook of of seven that's it <laughs> you know like you have two hooks again wait the fuck hold up Okay, I'm I'm not understanding. Overcharge your grappling grappling hook to now pull non frontline champions to seven. Okay. Okay, now it works. Hey, look at that. The thing that we worked so hard, the thing that we worked so hard for because everybody fucking hated it. You know, and now it's back, folks. Oh, oh god, I'm even dying here just from this crate. It's back. As for the spring loaded, they removed the 30% cooldown reduction buff, but they increased the range bonus from 25% to 30%. That's the one where when you dash, uh, you would have extra range and you place bombs now at the start and at the end of the dash, right? Uh, of the roll, whatever you want to call it. But now you have back to the 30% so that you should. I think it used to be like that, but they removed the 30% uh, cooldown reduction buff. So only distance and bombs at the start and the end. Um, then for Sky, they nerfed our damage. Not really, not even important. But I do want to see this one. I want to see. I want to see Terminus. <clears throat> no, let's go look this one so I don't kill anything. Um... Fantastic. So now I want to see. I'm going to use all of my energy here. And now I'm going to use all of my runes. I need to test out. Like, let me do this. Let me edit and let's take this away for this. And this way you guys are going to understand sort of how much it now fully is recharging the entire the entire um you know the bar for those who don't know what the buff is uh essentially now hitting the runes gives you uh dealing damage with calamity blast now increases power siphon recharge rate by 25 percent for four seconds and it stacks up to five times i'm imagining there is diminishing returns however so let's do like this and now card to give me energy back when i shoot the runes let's see how fast it's going it's it's going like double the speed. 
and you can just keep on tossing that one little extra just for extra speed. Okay, okay, okay it's pretty good. And if you have ob obviously the card, which is usually what a lot of people are gonna have, um, you know, you're not only are you speeding it up, you're also gaining a little bit of charge. So you almost like one charge can immediately almost give you power siphon back. Right, and there you go. Like, it takes like half a second and you get it back and you can use it. That's a lot better, actually. Um, I like it. I like the change. I actually... They're, they're starting to make... I'm getting to that point where they're starting to make Terminus so good that it's going to be fucking broken. Uh, now he gets all this, you know, he gets all his uh, Power Siphon back when he ults. Like, next up, they're going to give him 50% damage reduction for four seconds after using ult or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. Um... Tyra, they remove the second mark on the Mark's talent. I don't think there's anything necessary for that. Vora! <sighs> this is gonna fucking hurt. Um... Let's see how much damage she does now. She's doing less damage. I'm almost certain she's doing less damage. Okay, in a way, I like the fact that you do more damage per instant hit. Because that was something I was complaining about. How, like, sometimes imagine you, like, some people would just, like, clean off the damage over time. So having a little bit more damage on the flat damage would be fantastic. But I would have to confirm, and you guys are more than free to welcome to confirm that and tell me down in the comments below. I, I'm not going to open just the live servers right now, uh, but I think she's actually doing less damage now. But I'm not 100% sure. I guess you can still kill a tank with two sets of of your combo attacks plus one fully charged of liberate and you know using the slash talent for 10% extra HP you can kill a tank in the middle so you have to use almost your entire arsenal just to kill a tank I'm not certain yeah, damage over time effect normalizes across all hits to 100 damage. Increase medium attacks damage from 100 to 300. So, uh, technically speaking, they should have amped up the DPS because the damage should be still the same. But they shortened the medium attack post-fire delay. So, it means that after the first attack, the two lights should be faster. So, she pulls out the light attacks faster. And so they didn't change damage numbers except for like what does that initial flat damage that hits straight away and only then the rest is on all, all overtime. Um, but f after the first one, the little two light attacks you do straight away should like she would they would come out faster. So technically speaking, they did amp up her DPS by almost nothing. Like, I mean, you are not, not even going to be able to feel it, but it def they definitely did. I think I'm not sure. Run, I, somebody can run the math. I don't care. Um, I'm just seeing because like, I don't have access to the patch notes. I'm actually watching my video <laughs> to be able to see what I read on the patch notes. That's sad, right? <laughs> oh, they buffed Willow. They adjusted damage bonus per shot f uh, from 80 bonus damage to 100. And they increased the max stacks from 3 to 4. Oh, shit. Damn, hold up. We got to test that out. That seems like she's going to be doing a crap ton of damage now. Let's see how much damage she pulls off now. God damn! Shit! She gotta be doing some damage. We're gonna be seeing a lot of more willows. Get fucked for the people who like to play healer, because there's gonna be a lot more willows in your game. Oh, unfortunate. All right, as for Ying, they do be buff in my champions. 
Um, as for Yang, they apparently removed the anti-heal, the ignoring the anti-heal on her ultimate. They heard us. Uh, cause, like, she started being banned every single fucking time in competitive. <laughs> but instead, now, upon activation, it grants CC immunity to your allies for around, like, 1 to 1 1.5 sec- 1 second of crowd control immunity upon activation. So let's check this out. Yeah, there it is. You see that gold thing? Like, just look at this. Like, when I activate it, you're gonna see the glow on Fernando. You see that glow? That was one second. So, in a way, this is good. If it's really well timed, you can actually save your tanks or whoever's on point and it's about to deal a lot of CC. I, I like it. I'm actually gonna say, I'm gonna be honest. I like this change. In fact, I think it should be 1.5 seconds and not just one second because the timing is gonna be fucking horrible. <coughs> but um, I prefer this to the ignoring the anti heal for sure. Uh, bring back old cauterize. I don't give a shit. Oh, and then they have the rank frames. Okay, sure, whatever. All right, so here's the thing. I'm not actually going to be showing you the items. The items are here, but I'm not going to show them to you because I want to do a separate video just for this. I want to talk about it. Um, specifically, like, we're already, like in a very long video, and uh, I want to do that a separate thing. So if you watched all the way till the end and you want to see me talking about the items, um, yeah. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you guys there. Until then, have a wonderful time. Don't forget to tell me down in the comments below what change I'm going to be talking about only about buffs and, and like maybe the trials and such, because obviously we can't have access to the skins on the uh, the event pass, unfortunately, because, well, the Grover one is fucked. I'm not even sure about the, the Omen one. I'm not even going to try. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the... Just let me know, all right, what do you guys think? And I want to see which one do you prefer the most, the change you prefer the most. This includes both buffs and also the trials and, you know, battle pass and so on. And the thing you hated the most. I want to see all people in the comments section just telling uh, what you guys prefer and hate. Okay, so see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.